Um, hello, uh, this is Jameson, or Extreme Gamer, whichever you want to call me. Um, today I'm going to be teaching you what products I use. I know I made a video about this one before, if you've already seen it, but, um, I'm just going to remake it. Anyway, um, this is going to, I'm going to show you, uh, first off I'm going to show you the painting program I use. I don't use Photoshop. I, every other creator I know either uses Photoshop or, you know, your Windows uh, default painting program. But, um, what I use is a very expensive, very efficient uh, program it's called Coral Painter 11. And, um, it's, it's very nice. Uh, I got cheap, pretty cheap for Educators Edition. Uh, it just says Educators Edition in yellow here on mine. But, um, it's pretty nice, actually, it's very decent. And, um, so yeah, let me, let me, let me show you just a little hint of how this whole thing works out here. I'm going to start with a new one, 500 by 500 looks good. Okay. Uh, alright. This is your zoom, zoom in, zoom out down here. Um, let's move these guys over one. This is to move it up and down. The bottom's move it left and right. So, ow. Okay. Um. Use airbrushes. <clears throat> All right. This is the size of the brush. You want it big. You want it eeby. <laughs> Control Z is what I'm using to erase. Uh, opacity is the. Uh, Transpa transparency, you know, you want it to look very like that, more visible, or more like very tough. You know, you want a tough look to it, or a very light. See the difference? So, yeah, there's <laughs> there's all kinds of stuff you can do. Um, you of course got that. Actually, I'm gonna make it black. Or you could just go for two point and make it black and blue. Go over here and change this color if you want it darker. If you want it all black. Okay. And um, what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna show you a little bit. Um, you could do all kinds of stuff. Like for one, uh, FX neon pen over here. Let's look for red streak, which is normally what I use. Let's make it pretty decent here. See how it looks. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> uh, you can do, you can do all kinds of stuff. You can make it look like that fairy dust. You can make it pretty. Whoop. Uh, glittery. <laughs> oh, this is what I used. I made it so it kind of shine like that, so I can just tap it. It depends on how hard you tap it. I'm tapping it really hard. Makes like that and lightly tap it. See, it makes it small. Makes it smaller. Uh, where's the jitter? Here we go. Jitter is, of course, makes it spread out. Like it didn't do before. <laughs> so, yeah, you can do all kinds of shit with this. It's pretty efficient. Um, adding extra canvases. Layer one, layer two. You can rename them if you want. You know, so you know which layer you're using. And for instance, like if you put in blue on top and you want red on the bottom, not covering the blue, just do that. You see how it just kind of layers the bottom of it? That looks like a big American flag. <laughs> okay, so yeah, it's that's how you do that. Um, yeah. And the other program, the the product that I use to paint with, because it's very hard to use a mouse with that, I use mouse pen, uh, genius. That's the exact product I use. Right, which you're looking at right there. And uh, this takes a AAA battery. And this takes a AAA battery. And God, it's it's pretty efficient. 
I mean, if you want something more to it, like the buttons on the sides and different settings, you know, you're gonna have to buy it pretty cheap. But this is decent because you know, pretty much all your settings that you need is on this program here. So you really don't have to worry about buying with settings. This was only like 13 euros for me. But yeah, it's like I said, it's very efficient. Um. Okay, I'm gonna show you around the creators. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Area. Yeah, here we go. Uh, you just click that. You know how to become a creator. Uh, these are the amount of credits you use. These are your promo credits, and these are your devaluation tokens, and this is your level. Um, dev tokens, like I said, uh, when you submit a product, they practically take away. A percentage each token takes away about a percentage amount of credits. As for in this case, using these would practically make my next product submission free. So, promo creds, uh, and depending on your level, that will also take it take the percentage down on submissions. Promo creds you cannot use for creating. I'm sorry. You know how I said that you can get your credits from dev credits, so. Better get your credits from there because get better. I mean, buy your name from there because you want to start with some credits, ten thousand at the most. And de dev credits is probably the best to start out with. Just to play around, but you cannot submit pro products. You try to submit a product with promo creds, it'll say you don't have enough credits. You need actual credits. That's as well goes for gifting. You try to gift somebody, it says it doesn't. It says you don't have enough credits though. You have like what seven hundred, and which is actually promo credits because you don't have enough real credits to gift somebody. You need real credits to do that. Uh, create news. Always look at this because, you know, in case something updates or, you know, always keep pay attention to that. Edit a product. You can edit your product from your computer, open a local product, some product, something that you're working on, um, or use one of these. These are recent ones. Or derive a new one, which you just click on, it'll come up with the box, and you can put specified product ID. You can usually what I usually do is just tap it, type in random numbers, and see what you come up with. Sometimes you don't come up with anything, but um, uh, best thing to, I'll, I'll show you how to derive products that are pretty easier after we're done here. So yeah, okay, I already got one open for the mail top. Uh, this name's untitled. I haven't named it yet. If you want to name it, you have to save it. Or come and save as. And, um, if you're working with the furniture, you can move it around, you can rotate it, you can do all this stuff that you that you do in a normal room. Um, you c in your product product creation, you can also put up your own outfit. Forget you. Okay. So yeah. Anyway, um. This is where you put your textures. As you can see, usually on the browser. Ah, oh, there we go. See, you cannot take that shirt off, no matter what you do or what you wear. It'll usually pop down saying that this product will conflict with this product because you cannot take this shirt off. Cause that's the product you're working on. What's the point of taking it off if you're working on it? <laughs> um, you can also put them up in different rooms, like this one. And yeah, these are your textures. This is what you use. Uh, I'll show you how to do that in the next video. Um, yeah, Lumini. Always keep this off. As well as this. Blending. If it's sitting there snowing or if you're behind a window or something, it'll totally hide the shirt. Which, if you're using on a female avatar, it'll qualify as a UFI product and it's most likely to get flagged. So always make sure that's off, unless it's water or something you want invisible. 
it's self illumini as you can see uh these products are self illumini the tail and the arm one was even in the shade they still they stay they stay light I'll show you with the shirt and watch this is gonna blight see how it gets really bright yeah even in the shade or caves or something they'll stay light and usually that's very annoying for a lot of people so most likely that stays off I need to edit these products and turn them off on them too because I keep forgetting about it okay actions you can add um you could put in a trigger name uh what type it is of course I'm not for avatar you can leave these alone if you want and add an OGG what this is an audio file uh, make sure it's tw under 20 seconds long and there you go you can create your own voice boxes with empty derivables which is in the create mode when you go derive a new product there's empty derivables <coughs> which you can use for a, for a pretty good voice box pretty pretty cheap and um assets this is the name of the file that you've been using the size and the status uh, you're only allowed to upload uh, 2 megabytes per file so like if you're using something here that's like status is disabled and not being used remove it okay a debug try not messing with any of this you know, it, nothing. None of this really matters. It's just you know, I, would, I wouldn't mess with it. And add an actor. For those who create actions like kissing poses and that, I would recommend you use these actors, because every time I buy a product from the store, you know, I only got one avatar to try it out. I buy the product. It looks good. You know, I'm sitting there trying out both. You can also put clothes on him. I'm also I'm just trying out both. You know, it looks good, it looks pretty close. I buy it and I try it out with somebody, and it's like very off. I mean, extremely off that I didn't that I didn't want. So I highly recommend you use these actors. There we go. <laughs> and uh, yeah, so it's it's really not that hard to get around. To be honest with you, they can interact with each other, unless they're friends. Mm. Oh, some of these won't work. Some of them will. But yeah. Well, I got VIP. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Okay, but anyway, yeah. Um, that's pretty much it to show you what programs and stuff I use. So. Yeah. Anyway, I hope this helped you out with what to use. Um, you can get Photoshop for free. I don't use Flow to Photoshop because it's kind of flimsy for me. I don't know, gay, whatever you want to name it. <laughs> Coffee. Okay, so yeah. Anyway, I hope this helped. Uh, I look forward. I, I hope you look forward to my next video, which is going to be a little later because I'm waiting for my headset and my USB hub. So, because I got like six USB ports six USB cables and only like three ports so okay um I hope I hope this helped if you have any questions inbox me anytime uh I if I don't respond to it just give it a little bit more time or you can email me at extremegamer at gmail dot com and yeah I, I usually respond to that like right away because I get I get notifications here so okay yeah, <laughs> uh, talk to you later.